My name is Ragnar Tornquist. I am the uh, founder and creative director and probably a ton of other things at Red Thread Games. Uh, we're an independent studio based in Oslo, Norway, and we're working on a game called Dreamfall Chapters, the latest sequel in a series of games that began with the longest journey in 1999, continued with Dreamfall in 2006, and now we're making the, the, the next chapter in the saga. Dreamful chapters. Uh, we were recently on Kickstarter where we raised uh, 1.5 million dollars for this game. Well, when we made The Longest Journey in 1999, we, we created our own engine for the game. It was a 2D point-and-click adventure game. Uh, it was a lot simpler in those days. The, the gameplay wasn't as demanding, the mechanics were easier, and we were able to, to, to create both an engine and a tool set for that game in a reasonably short time frame. But that was a long time ago. For, for Dreamfall in 2006, we, we licensed an engine. And it was an engine that was very new. It hadn't been proven. It was hard for us to work with, hard for us to, to really create something on top of. Uh, it became a challenge. It became something we had to struggle with. So we knew that for Dreamful Chapters, the choice of technology and tools, the choice of engine was the most important choice. And we looked at a lot of different engines, a lot of different options for Dreamful Chapters, and we landed on Unity. And, and the reason for that, of course, is first and foremost, the. Uh, the price is right for us. We're in an independent studio. We're making this game a, a pretty big and ambitious game for as little money as possible. So the price point helps. But more importantly, the community and the support, the fact that there's a thriving community of Unity developers out there. And I think most importantly to our developers and our designers is the fact that the engine is uh, it's so friendly to prototype, to experiment, to iterate in. You, anybody can move stuff around, anybody can, can build something in the game, try it, see how it works. And for us, that is key in the design process, and development process, because we're not big believers in, in paper design. We, we, we have a story outline, and from that, we create our environments uh, using gray boxes. And then once we've created those, we sit down and we, we roam around in these sort of uh, Lego versions of the world in these sort of very rudimentary versions of the world and from there we develop the gameplay, the mechanics, the, the design and Unity uh, empowers everybody on the team to be able to do that. We can have a designer who's incompetent at art being able to just place out a couple of pieces, you know, a couple of buildings and, 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 and get the feel right, get the design right and then an artist can come in and very quickly work on top of that. Um, the challenge, of course, is that, you know, for us, uh, first and foremost, Unity is a new technology. Uh, secondly, when you're working with an engine that you haven't developed yourself, you're always going to hit snags and challenges. Uh, but the great thing about Unity is, like, whatever your problem, there's a solution out there. It could be in the asset store, it could be through, you know, the support we get through Unity, it could be on message boards and forums, it could be with other developers uh, in Oslo, in Norway, in Europe, in, in the whole world that are, you know, faced with the same problems we have. So, I mean, that's the great part. Every engine, every technology uh, is going to give you, you know, resistance. There's going to be some resistance there. There's going to be challenges you have to face. But the great thing about Unity is that everybody's working on it. It's so willing to share and to collaborate and cooperate and to be part of this, this movement in a way uh, that, that, that really changes the way games are developed. And it really changes how we develop games. I'm extremely happy to be working in game development now. I, I've, I've been working in this industry for... Uh, for 20 years, uh, so most of my adult life. Yeah. Um, and I've never been as excited about my job and about this industry as I am now. And there, there are lots of reasons for that. I mean, first and foremost, we're, we're changing the way games are made, distributed, published, funded. The way we're thinking about games, it's all changing. The, the old model of, of just the big, big publishers being able to dictate everything and then, you know, there being the tiny, tiny independent studios. That's vanishing, and, and the borders between it's all being blurred. There are so many ways to, to, to raise money now for games. There's so many ways to distribute games. Uh, power is going back to the developers. For me, who's been in this industry a long time and worked on a lot of big games, it, that freedom, that sort of feeling of, of, of a new start for the industry is fantastic. And being here at the United Nordic and, and seeing all these people of, you know, from people who are just starting out to people who worked in the industry as long as I have, it's, it's fantastic. It makes you energetic and positive and excited about the future. And I think, you know, Kickstarter is part of that. Uh, Steam is part of that. Xbox Live and the PlayStation Store is part of that. Uh, Unity is a huge part of that because it, it's, a, you know, a, a technology that democratizes game development. You're suddenly putting extremely advanced tools in the hands of 
everybody. The, 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 the playing ground is completely leveled. You know, everybody starts out with the same tools, the same technology. It's, it's extremely excited to see where that's heading. So, I mean, uh, yeah, if you'd asked me like two years ago, I'd say game development, just no, I want to do something else. I want to, you know, I'll write a novel or work in TV or something, but yeah. now I'm, the fire is back. I really believe that it feels like starting out all over again, and that's great. So I'm excited for the next 20 years.